squamous cell carcinoma is the topic, and we'll abbreviate this SCC. And essentially, squamous cell carcinoma is a malignant tumor of the skin. And essentially what happens is that the epidermal cells, when they uh, have this malignant transformation, they invade the dermis, which lies beneath. And I'll give you some uh, key um, distinctions between this and another type of um, uh, skin cancers, but it's the second most common uh, SCC, second most common type of skin cancer. The most common, number one, is basal cell. But basal cell cancer uh, presents a little bit differently. So here are some characteristic um, details about SCC. The first thing that you look for is a non-healing lesion. Another thing that you look for that's a key factor is that the lesion appears on some part of the body that has exposure to the sun. And in terms of the way it looks, it's, it's kind of variable, but some of the ways to describe it is a plaque, uh, sometimes with scales. Uh, you can call it scaly or crusted. And I'll show you a picture uh, during the clinical vignettes. And then eventually the tumor or the skin lesion ulcerates and invades the uh, underlying tissue. So how do you actually diagnose this other than the clinical presentation? Well, without a doubt, the most important thing is the biopsy. And then the biopsy will show the type of cells and confirm that this actually is a malignant tumor of the epidermal cells. And if it's uh, caught early and it's small, then the prognosis is excellent. But unfortunately, if it's a late stage disease, then it's likely to metastasize. Uh, over the course of time, five year survival rate is only 34%. Uh, so as you can see, even a skin cancer can cause uh, mortality in a large number of patients if it's not identified early. The treatment, uh, there's several uh, types of uh, surgical techniques and they're called destructive techniques. And essentially one of the most common one is just the basic surgical excision. Sometimes uh, radiation is used um, if it's a very aggressive type of skin cancer. So let's finally take a look at a picture of this. So this is a classic photo of squamous cell carcinoma. As you can see, it's in the lower lip area, the vermilion border, which is the area that um, a woman would apply the lipstick, in case you're wondering what the vermilion border is. And there's a clinical vignette associated with this. So let's take a look. A 58-year-old man comes to the office because of a lesion of the lip, which is shown above. The patient says that he has had this lesion for about nine months. He has not seen a physician for five years, and he's in the office today only because my wife made me come. On physical exam, the lower lip is fixed to the anterior aspect of the mandible. The most likely diagnosis is. Well, this is a a very characteristic presentation of squamous cell carcinoma. The lip is being fixed to the surrounding tissues. That's also very characteristic of squamous cell carcinoma. So the answer is E. This is uh, the number one most common cause of skin cancer, but um, basal cell carcinomas appear pearly. And um, I encourage you to look up pictures of basal cell carcinoma so you can kind of differentiate between the two. And the next one, a blonde, blue-eyed, 69-year-old sailor has a non-healing, indolent, 1.5-centimeter ulcer on the lower lip, arising from the vermilion border. The ulcer has been present and growing for the past eight months. He is a pipe smoker, but has no history of alcohol or drug abuse. Physical exam shows weather-beaten facial skin, but no other ulcers. There is no enlarged lymph nodes in his neck, which of the following is most likely diagnosis. Well, the location of the uh, skin lesion and the history are classic for squamous cell carcinoma. They are 
uh, telling you that he's out in the sun indirectly, that he's a sailor, that he has weather-beaten facial skin, kind of to imply that this man spends a lot of time in the sun. And um, this, there's no doubt that this is a squamous cell carcinoma.